Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 12, and this is war number 8, and we're going up against Summoners of Anarchy. So, I've already scouted out my path, and I decided to go in here with Spider-Man Stark Enhanced, Blade, and of course, Gladiator Hulk. I say of course because I take path 1 in section 1, and that's a starburst path, so Gladiator Hulk is the number one option for this path because he activates face me and he is just a beast while face me is active so we were going for the win so i decided to boost up a little bit had these boosts i'm not using them may as well use them and i don't really like fighting diablo he's not hard but every once in a while he catches me uh, when he goes unstoppable so there you go face me is active so gladiator hulk is hitting nice and hard and any damage that he takes he heals up most of it so just look at that he's just ripping through this diablo all right he's got a little unblockable not hard to evade just distance it still going in here i fire off that special two it puts an innervate on him but honestly if i want to just preserve some of my health which as you can see I don't really need to do uh, I don't throw those specials but while face me is active I heal up most of the recoil damage that I take as well because I am running suicides so gladiator hulk just awesome for this path and so far I have not found anyone that I cannot defeat with gladiator hulk on this path and then we came to Korg now, I was extremely worried about this fight. I usually fight Korg with Havoc. And Havoc makes the fight pretty easy. I know how to do it, and I'm very confident. But my Havoc is in Alliance Quest. So, I tried to duel a few, a few Korgs. And I got some advice to uh, intercept with light attacks, which is something that I really need to practice and do. But every time I tried to do the light intercept, sort of like how we do Domino, where we bait out an attack, I would dex, and he would then get unblockable and unstoppable, and i go back in and get clobbered. So what I decided to do was to fight him without worrying about the damage back from his rock shield, because again, I knew that Gladiator Hulk was going to heal up most of it. So I'm just like, all right, I'm just going to fight him like I would fight him with Havoc. Don't worry about doing light attacks, light intercepts. Just use my mediums as I need to and uh, allow the face me to heal me up. So as you can see, it's working rather well. Okay, this is how I would do it normally uh, with Havoc. Just bait out his heavies. Uh, right here, you want to bait out that special two. Uh, special one or special two uh, can be avoided. Uh, I practiced. Uh, thanks to Darky Diggity Dave, uh, I know how to do this. <laughs> okay, just laughing. But <clears throat> I can evade the special one. Uh, I didn't do it there, but uh, I was just laughing. Uh, because Darky Diggity Dave did help me learn how to evade the special one. So I usually avoid it, no problem. But I got a little too happy in that fight. Uh, I saw he was almost dead. And I'm like, yes, I can get this. And got thrown all the way off. But... As you see, Gladiator Hulk still came out pretty healthy. All right, so now we're at this mini, and I did not take it. I let my teammates do that one. So on to section two. Now, in section two, I do not take path one. I take path two. And I did scout out the path, and I'm like, okay, I think Gladiator Hulk wants a little rematch against that Dormammu. If you guys watched my previous, I think it was my previous uh, war, uh, it might have been a couple of wars back, uh, I fought a, Do a Dormammu with Gladiator Hulk. And he is great for this, but what I kept doing was I would evade and I was trying to avoid dexing. That's what you normally want to do with everybody else except Gladiator Hulk. With Gladiator Hulk, you do want to dex and go in so you can activate his face me. 
So I was determined, because I didn't have a lot of practice fighting Dormammu's with my Gladiator Hulk. So I wanted to get that nailed down. All right, so here we go. You see here? Now, I didn't evade in time there. I took the block, but I'm trying to evade late. So I was fighting my own muscle memory there. All right, there you go. I got some dexes here. So now when I attack him, he's most likely going to put a degen on me. Okay, he didn't do it that time. All right, got another dex because it is a chance depending on their sig level and all of that. Okay, boom. There's the degen and there's the face me. Okay, and then see, there you go. I got degen, face me. That's how you want to fight him with Gladiator Hulk. And I fired off a special three while face me was active and you can see the damage. That is what you want to do. Still need a little practice, but I did much better there. And you saw he was stunned for just a little bit and I wasn't getting suckered into that. All right, and we finished off with a face me. So Gladiator Hulk is a Dormammu killer. You just have to remember to activate his face me. Uh, originally, the Mystic Dispersion, that made it a little bit different and you were going to get that degen. And so Gladiator Hulk was a Dormammu killer uh, even better than he is now. But after they changed Mystic Dispersion, this is what you have to do with Gladiator Hulk. You have to dex, attack, and there's a chance that you'll get the degen. And when you do, you'll activate Face Me. Now we come up against this Iceman. And I hate fighting Iceman, especially an Awakened Iceman, because you're going to take damage. Unless you're going to go in here with a champion that is uh, cold snap immune, you're going to take damage. But look at this. This is how I do it with my Spider-Man Stark Enhanced. Build up those 10 poise charges. Just accept the cold snap damage. And then take him down hard. I still love Starkey. He is one of my favorites. All right, so it's early in the morning when I was doing this, very early. I hadn't gone to bed yet. And I told them, all right, uh, I don't feel comfortable uh, trying to fight her uh, while I'm tired. So if she's still up when I wake up and I'm, you know, more awake, then I'll take her. She was. So I said, all right, you know, I'm looking at the war and the war is pretty close. Uh, at the time of me doing this narration, the war is still not over and it's very close it's anybody's war. Uh, it may come down to diversity. I don't know. All right. So I'm looking here because I forgot to check the defense tactics. I was thinking that it was the defense tactics where she gets extra evade being small, uh, but it wasn't. And so I looked down there to see if she had any of the tags that activated that defense tactic. She didn't. So I go in here with Blade. Blade is one of those unsung heroes these days. When he first came out, everybody wanted him. Everybody that could got him. They ranked him up and they dominated. He is still a beast, as you can see here. Now, I don't want to get evaded, so you saw me playing a little carefully. You know, I was not doing five hit combos as much as I could. I was doing a lot of parries to get the bleeds and then in that final move, I parried, and while she was stunned, I fired off my special, just in case she wanted to evade that. Next up, we've got Wasp. Now, Wasp is a good defender, and she can really wreck some folks. Now, on this node, you have Special Lock 1, which is really annoying, okay? And she's immune to all debuffs. So you'd be thinking, okay, why a blade? Well because I know how to fight Wasp and she doesn't have a lot of health. All right, so you see here, I'm just baiting out those heavies. Uh, that's the one thing that I liked about Blade is that I was gonna be getting block damage. I knew that, but Blade can heal it. All right, so you see what I'm doing here. All I'm doing is baiting out her heavy attacks, baiting out her specials, and attacking her while that evade of hers is on cooldown. Okay, that's the only time I'm gonna do it. There you go, got a little intercept in on her. Now, I don't want to attack her right here, and I need to bait out that special. I baited it out. Now, I'm waiting. Okay, there we go. 
Got her. All right. So she can wreck you, though. If I made one mistake, just one, the fight would have been over. So now I'm thinking, all right, we've got some uh, minis, but everyone should have a counter. I'm looking at that thing and I'm like, should I take him? No, somebody else has a better shot at him. They took him. But there's Domino. Yes, I'm going to fight a Domino. Now, Starkey is actually a really good option for Domino. As you see, he has class advantage. And he hits really hard. So I could build up poise charges with Starkey and do the intercept, you know, bait out her, her, her uh, medium attack and go back in, you know, a little backdraft intercept. And that can work. Now, if I want to use Starkey, I'm thinking here that I can uh, use not the boost because Starkey does a whole lot of damage anyway. So giving him an extra tech boost eh, is not really as, as much. Uh, maybe a power boost that could have worked. Um, but the combat regeneration boost can sometimes help with her crit failing him. But I said, you know what? I have Gladiator Hulk. Now, Gladiator Hulk, let me tell you why Gladiator Hulk is a good option. You know Gladiator Hulk's biggest thing, the biggest thing that makes him a beast is his face me. And a lot of people don't realize this, but those crit failures that Domino is always doing that people hate so much, they activate Gladiator Hulk's face me. So I'm still not confident in doing this fight. I don't like Domino. There's all kinds of shenanigans that often happen when fighting with her. But as you saw, I boosted up, I healed up, and now we're gonna go in. And let me tell you, I was nervous and I'm just like, okay, you see I'm taking all those blocks. Look at that, she dexed it out. I'm just like, what is going on? All right, now you see he's not doing a lot of damage because he doesn't have face me active. Okay, so I'm watching her bar. She's lucky, so you back off. You don't want to attack her when she's lucky or else you may get an evade and wrecked. All right, so here we go. Now, I don't mind pushing her. There's the crit failure, and you see the face me active now. Uh, baited out the special two. Go back in. And you see the damage that I did with face me active. Uh, it's some good damage, all right? And I can still evade her attacks because I wasn't unlucky. And the other thing that's making this fight a little bit easier is that my opponent is running suicide. So baiting out those specials is helping me a lot. So you'll see that when I bait out the special two and I was sitting there going, okay, please throw that special two. All right, there we go. All right, and you see, look at that. That was a lot of recoil damage there. All right, and I'm taking a lot of blocked hits. I believe it's because of the fix that they put in uh, that I wasn't able to evade out uh, because my evade was probably just a little too slow and that is often the time where she just clobbers you all right there we go I got face me active now I shouldn't have really thrown that special one it doesn't do a lot of damage the um, stun on it is meaningless because she's immune on this node to uh, all debuff effects if I remember correctly uh, so that was just a waste and it just uh, used up some of my health. Okay, so here we are. Now I can't evade this because I was unlucky. So again, I'm just taking all this damage because I'm unlucky and I can't do it. So now I'm happy. I'm like, yeah, I'm a got her. I'm a get her. No, 1%. Kabam, please fix that. I, I really, that is so annoying to me. I got, I was so gung ho. I was like, yes, my special two will finish her off. 1%. It acts like she has safeguard or something. Anyway, that's the end of my contribution. Let's find out how we did in this war. All right, I'm going to give you a little behind the scenes. As you can see, we only have 15 minutes left in this war. And we are now making our first attempt on thing. 
we have one of my teammates. We're not sure where he went, but he was the perfect person to go up against this thing with his champions. But we waited late and we really need to fix this. We didn't get a one shot on him, but by looking at our scores, I was pretty sure we could get them on diversity. We just needed to at least two shot this guy. So you see there the first attempt got some good uh, health off of him. Not a one shot, but it was really good. And then the second attempt, we were able to get him down. But while we were doing this, another BG had not yet even begun to fight their boss. So we're nervous about that as well. Are they going to be able to get their boss down with the time we have left? We didn't know. Uh, but it turns out that they managed to get him down with four minutes left on the clock. Yeah, there's going to be some talks as to how this happened and how to prevent this last minute scramble from happening again, because you never know who's going to be available at this time. All right. So we're going to fast forward right quick to the last 30 seconds of the fight and we'll go there live. Okay, we are back and we have 30 seconds left in this war. And let me tell you, this war was close and is a nail biter. Uh, I believe we both have the same number of deaths, so we're tied. And we may have them on diversity. That is our hope, that we'll win on diversity. Uh, all right, so here we go. Let's find out. War has ended. Let us go to our history. And we got him. Yes. All right. That was close. Oh, man. All right. So that's going to do it, guys. Let me tell you, uh, we waited a little too long. We did not perform very well this war. Uh, even though we won, we could do a whole lot better. Uh, we had one BG get their boss down with only four minutes left to go. And we, my BG, had, as you saw, uh, about 20 minutes left when we started in. And we need to finish our wars far sooner than that. Anyway, that's going to do it, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this war. Click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.